Hi, my name is Szymon Kucharski and I'm expert manager in Samash Poland. Today, I'm gonna present you our extension arm Fisher Plus combined with Circulo Saw PT3. As for the starter, let's discuss the connection to the carrier. So we have today a Fisher Plus extension arm connected to the telehandler. It is connected with this adapting frame. We offer various types of them so we can hang it onto almost every carrier like skid steers, telehandlers and front-end loaders. After machine is hanged, you should connect hydraulics. You do this with these two hydraulic hoses. Let's move to this hydraulic block. So this block really differs a Fisher Plus from standard Fisher. It reduces the number of hydraulic outlets just to one pair. This is huge advantage because not every carrier has at the front four hydraulic outlets. It is crucial when operating with Fisher extension arm is that a carrier must be equipped with a case drain on a return line. Otherwise, you can damage a motor. What is also important is that you need to correctly connect hydraulics. I mean, feed goes in feed and return goes in return. The next step is to connect electronics to this electrical socket. You lead an electrical wire to a carrier's cap and this wire ends with a control panel. What we see here is a parking position. Thanks to this support stands, which are mounted as a standard on a Fisher extension arm, the whole assembly is stable. And thanks to this guard, the blades are secured. This block distributes oil pressure between this cylinder responsible for side shifting and that cylinder responsible for operating a header. We can side shift a machine up to 110 centimeters, which is around three and a half feet and operate a header with an inclination more or less 110 degrees. Moving forward with hydraulics and adjustments, you can control the speed of cylinders by using this blue knob on a choke valve. It can be done on both of the cylinders, the one responsible for the side shifting and the one responsible for the inclination of working head. Moving to the working head, it is connected with the arm with this plate by means of seven bolts and with two hydraulic hoses. They may be secured with the chain. Fisher extension arm is designed to operate with circular saw PT or a scissor trimmer PG. Attachments dedicated to operate with Fisher are marked with the letter F at the end. Today we have an assembly of Fisher Plus and a circular saw PT3 190F. To work with PT3, the required oil flow level is at 14 up to 18 gallons per minute. You need to pay attention to grease your machine. Here is a decal that tells us about a greasing point. When greasing your machine, also remember about the sliding pots to be greased. You should do this at least every 50 hours of operation. We have here a gas spring. It works as a shock absorber. It reduces the damage when hitting an obstacle during operation. Moving to optional equipment, we offer a counterweight which is mounted at the other side of the header. It prevents telescopic arm from twisting and stabilizes the whole setup. Remember, before starting your job, take off a blade protection. So this is working position. We suggest to work only in a vertical position. What is worth to mention, we have in offer a carbide blades and they are, unlike the standard ones, 
can be sharpened. A working head is operated and controlled from a carrier's cab. It is hydraulically driven, so this hydraulic motor is fed by a carrier's hydraulics. Then it runs a belt drive which is located under this cover. The belts inside the drive are automatically adjusted. If you want to check the condition of them, you just take out this plug and there is an inspection window. So you can easily see how they look like. Assembly is collected. Hydraulics are explained, as well as all other features about the machine. So the next step is to discuss what happens here in a cab. Firstly, what is very important, you need to set constant oil pump delivery. If you set your hydraulics correctly, you're ready to go. You will control the whole assembly with this control panel. It has five buttons. These white arrows here are responsible for side shifting a fissure arm. When these black arrows here are responsible for inclination of a working head. This button here at the top is responsible for starting and stopping the blades. Remember, if you have any questions or concerns, always refer to operator's manual or contact Samaj directly. Thanks for watching.